yes students now we will revise the topic tds and tcs under gst under gst so section 51 talks about tds and section 52 of cgst act talks about tcs guys so before i start with this topic let us just recall the section numbers till now whatever we have covered sir how many sections have you finished sir i am almost at the end yes so previously i had discussed till 36 we have discussed till 36 we have discussed guys so that is books of accounts and records then 37 to 48 i will cover it in the last chapter that is the returns chapter so from where to where 37 to 48 we will be covering it in the last chapter guys okay 49 we have covered in the previous chapter that is the payment along with interest now we are covering 51 and 52 in this chapter 51 and 52 of which act over? cgst then transfer of input tax credit that is between the governments then transfer of certain amounts this are only between the governments guys transfer of amount from one account to another account that is when we are cross utilize the credits then 68 actually we have already done with respect to eway bill sir in between i have not given because these those sections are not a part of your syllabus sir and then that means cgst has only 68 section no 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 remaining section you will learn in final okay because you have to learn something new in the final na? along with all these topics sir whatever we have learned in final, uh, intermediate also will be there yes along with this some more new topics in detail okay fine guys coming to igst whatever was already a part of your syllabus i already mentioned it most of the section whatever i have given here is not covered not covered not covered guys zero rated supply and all we already covered okay what is what is zero rated supply is given in igst act please be careful see actually what is covered in your syllabus which is given in igst act is only place of supply provision and concepts of supply concept means inter intra and supply in territorial waters whereas exemptions and levy is actually covered but copy paste of cgst act provisions with minor changes clear and most of them is not covered and as i as i already told you guys section 20 especially of igst act will tell if there is no separate provisions covered with respect to any topic under igst act then it is mutatis mutandis as covered in cgst act okay so now coming back coming back yes see i have tried to simplify tds and tcs see don't get scared tds or tcs is not as lengthy as income tax year very small one one section and i feel somewhere it is important why because guys see under ca that is new syllabus they have added all these topics from final there are few topics which were not a part of old syllabus previously so when new syllabus came that is not now in the year 2024 they added few topics from final because they made it 50 50 clear huh? yes sir. which are those topics because you guys give little extra importance for it because they have brought this topic from final and put for humans maybe they will ask some questions on this in the exam simply they would have not put which are those sir guys eway bill and uh, accounts and records actually it was covered for you in your intermediate syllabus and world syllabus but only a topic was there but now under new syllabus they have made it as a separate chapter then also place of supply then coming to tds tcs tds tcs also was not a part of your intermediate syllabus under old but now under new they have made it applicable okay very simple don't get scared because tds to tcs on the papa students will have that notion so our income tax so many sections no sir no here only one section only one section and in this diagram only majority i have covered of the provisions what is it we will see guys who should deduct first who should deduct tds government department establishment agency local authority authority board or society or public sector undertaking only if they are the payer they have to deduct tds sir deduct tds from whom risks the supplier guys guys listen supplier is someone else supplier has supplied goods or services to the recipient this guy has to make payment na? while making payment is deducting tds is making deduct deduction of tds when sir always ah no only if the value of supply is more than 2,50 in a year per annum. Per annum, the value of supply is more than 2,50. What is the rate of TDS, sir? 1 plus 1. That is 1% CGST, 1% SGST. 
or if it is IGST, straight away 2%. Okay. Now, deductor, when he is making the payment, assume he is uh, paying 3 lakh. From that, he has to deduct 2% TDS totally, 1%, 1%. And pay the balance to the supplier? Yes. Sir, whatever 2% TDS is deducted now for supplier, will he get a credit of it? Yes. Even in income tax, he used to get a credit now. From final tax liability, we will reduce. Same way. Here, he will get that amount credited to electronic cash rate. Now, assume I am the supplier. You deducted before paying to me 1%, 1% TDS. Now, it is going there. No, no, it is as if I have paid it. So, it will come and reflect in my electronic cash rate. Charges. Now, for you to claim it or to prove it, I should issue a document. Correct. Now, I have deducted 2% of your amount and I have given to the government. I should give some proof to you now that I will give it in the form of GSTR 7A certificate. Then, whatever TDS the government has deducted, they will deposit it to the government within 10th of next month. So, assume they have deducted on any day of January. They have to deposit on or before 10th of February. Okay. And they should also file GSTR 7 returns. That is TDS returns within 10th of next month. So, within 10th of next month, very simple. For any TDS deducted in January, the deductor has to deposit within 10th of next month and file GSTR 7 with whom? Department with department. Hope you understood. Now you may ask me, sir, what if the deductor is you or me who is not a government or who is not covered in this list? Should we deduct TDS? No, no, no. So you should remember who are the payers. They are the payers, guys. Recipients, please be careful, not the suppliers. Supplier is not making payment. Who is making payment? Recipient. If recipient is the following people, government officials, no deal, shoot a put up on it. So if they are the deductors, Means if they are the recipients before paying, they have to deduct TDS and remit it to the government within 10th of next month, guys. Okay, so. Huh. <clears throat> Section 51. This is a story on the exam day and all. You will not have so much time to go through each and every subsection or section. No. So you would have already learned it really well. Okay. On the exam day, maybe this diagram will give you a majority picture. Clear. Just revise, analyze, go. Section 51 of CGST Act states that department or establishment of the central government or state government or local authority, governmental agencies or an authority or a board or any other body set up by an act of parliament or a state legislature or established by any government with 50% or more participation by way of equity or control to carry out any function or a society established by the central government or a state government or a local authority under the Society's Registration Act 1860 or a public sector undertaking and now one more new person. One more new person has been added. Amendment. Any registered person receiving supplies of metal scrap from other registered person. Means, guys, guys, listen. Supplier is also registered. Recipient is also registered. What is he supplying? Metal scrap. Metal Scrap. Don't worry about, sir, RCM applicable. I here, no, actually, no RCM is applicable. Why? Supplier is also registered. When supplier is registered, guys, we discussed, RCM will stop. Who should take registration? If supplier's turnover process threshold limit, he should get registered. Yes. RCM stop. FCM starts. Clear? So, here, they are not talking about RCM and all. Actually, here scenario, when it is covered here, RCM or FCM? FCM. Because this guy is registered already. When will he get registered? If his turnover has crossed the threshold limit. Okay. So, if this guy is supplying metal scrap for the government, when they are making the payment, they have to deduct the TDS, guys. That's all. At what rate, sir? To deduct, we all call them, these people all put together, we call them as deductors. To deduct tax at the rate of 1%, that is CGST, from the payment made or credited to the supplier, the deducting of taxable goods or services or both, where the total value of such supply under a contract exists, 2,50 and 2,50 is only value of supply, not GST and all. Clear up. For example, value of supply is 2.2 lakh plus GST. Assume 2.3 lakh is the value of supply plus GST is assume 30,000. So, total value is 2.6 lakh. Should we deduct TDS? No, no TDS. Next, value of supply is 3 lakh plus GST 50,000. Uh, 50,000. So, it is 3.5 lakh. Should we deduct TDS? Yes. On what amount? 3 lakh. TDS has to be deducted on 3 lakh. What? How much? 1%, 1%. CGST 1? Yes, GST 1. Or if it is interstate supply, 2%. IGST. 
ओके सर नेक्स्ट गवर्नमेंट हेज एक्सेप्टेड द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ टीडीएस प्रोविजन टू द सप्लाई ऑफ गुड्स और सर्विसेज और बोथ फ्रॉम ए प्ले फ्रॉम ए पब्लिक सेक्टर अंडरटेकिंग टू अनदर पब्लिक सेक्टर अंडरटेकिंग whether or not a distinct person means supplier and recipient both are psu psu no tds next when supply of goods and or services takes place between one person to another person specified under section 51 except person referred in g so for g guy there is no exception so they are telling if the, they are giving service to him or he is giving to another person they are exchanging supplier and recipient both are covered in this list only sir except g except g supplier and recipient both are covered in this list only sir no tds no tds hope you guys are getting it for example sir this is government department and this is local authority you assume should we deduct tds no no tds assume this is government department and this guy is supplier of scrap should we deduct tds yes tds is applicable next provided that no deduction shall be made if the location of supplier observe this word location of supplier and place of supply is in the same state or union territory which is different from the state or union territory of registration of recipient guys come on loss pass is in the same state intra state supply yes but location of recipient is in the other state should we deduct tds no as it will lead to complication of giving credit and all they told no tds please be careful here we are not deciding inter or inter but still we are checking it last pass is in the same state whereas location of recipient is in another state should we deduct tds no because it would be difficult for giving credit to the recipient say so they told because guys simple simple listen here let me give an example last pass is in karnataka guys last and pass is in karnataka so can i call it as intra state supply yes so what is applicable cgst plus sgst so we will deduct assume tds 11% deducted okay we have to give credit to the recipient na yes assume location of recipient is from tamil nadu is from tamil nadu so in that case how will we give the credit sir i cannot give sgst of karnataka to sg tamil nadu na so giving credit will be difficult correct na so this is deducted where karnataka remitted to which government karnataka now can i tell hey tamil nadu government give a credit of this no 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 they will start fighting they will start fighting it will lead to conflict that is why they told okay in this case no tds only go oh, no. no tds the amount deducted as tax shall be paid to the government by the deductor within 10th of next month guys that is year only i have given in gst or 7 also he has to file next a certificate of tax deduction at source shall be issued in form gstr 7a by the deductor to the deductee then the deductee that is the supplier shall claim credit in a electronic cash ledger of the tax deducted and reflected in the return of the deductor furnished in form gstr 7 within 10th of next month means guys as soon as the deductor deposit the tds and file gstr 7 it will auto be auto credited to electronic cash ledger of whom the supplier for example i have given here na no? you can see electronic cash ledger tds tcs also will be credited to cash ledger as if i have deposited the amount into cash ledger so as soon as the deductor deposit the tax to the government and file gst at 7 it will be credited to my cash ledger if any deductor fails to pay to the government the amount deducted as tax he shall pay interest in accordance with the provisions of section 50 sub section 1 at 18% per annum in addition to the amount of tax deducted in addition to the amount of tax deducted as means sir tds deducted but not remitted to the government even if it is late you have to deposit along with interest done with tds now coming to tcs tax collection at source even in even this is covered only in one section guys now who should collect the tcs sir e commerce operator when sir other than rath services guys if it is rath services he straight away has to pay tax so in any other case should he collect tcs yes guys nor normally e commerce operator is a platform on which any goods or services will be listed the customer will order for it the actual supplier will supply and the customer will receive it customer will do payment to whom platform 
platform will collect and give it to the uh, supplier, actual supplier by deducting their commission and all. Now they have to collect TCS on this. Who? Oh, E-commerce operator. When is it? We will see. Now, <clears throat> for the actual supplier, before making the payment, means e-commerce operator would have collected the payment from the actual recipients, yes. And he will make the payment to the supplier, yes. Collect TCS at 0 0.25, 0 0.25, amendment. 0 0.25, 0 0.25. For supplies other than RAT. Why, sir, for RAT, e-commerce operator only will pay tax under section 9.5. Okay, sir. And whatever TCS is collected by the e-commerce operator, he has to deposit it to the government within 10th of next month and file a statement, not return, statement, statement, GSTR 8 within 10th of next month. So deposit TCS and file statement in GSTR 8 within 10th of next month. And also they have to file one more annual statement in GSTR 9B within 31st December of next financial year. For whatever TCS they have collected throughout the year, they have to also file annual statement. One monthly statement, one annual statement. So totally 12 monthly statements in a year plus one annual. Plus one annual. Okay. Now whatever TCS has been collected by the collector and deposited to the government, once he files GSTR 8 with the government, immediately it will be auto credited to the supplier in his electronic cash ledger, guys. Okay. Let us see. Section 52 of CGST Act provides that every electronic commerce operator not being agent shall collect an amount collect calculated at 0 0.25 amendment highlighted in italics CGST and 0 0.25 would be SGST also. Sir, what if it is interstate supply? 0.5% IGST of net value of taxable supplies made through it by other suppliers where the consideration with respect to such supplies is to be collected by the operator. 0.5% of IGST if it is a interstate supply guys. If it is an interstate supply. Sir, is there any threshold limit here? No. For TDS, we had 2 lakh 50, na. For TCS, is there any threshold limit? No, guys. Please be careful. See, study together because you may get confused with TDS and TCS. TDS will be deducted only by government people. TCS will be collected only by e-commerce operator. No threshold limit here. No threshold limit. Okay. And rates also are different. So, please be careful. Explanation. The expression net value of taxable supply shall mean the aggregate value of taxable supplies of goods or services or both other than services notified under section 9.5, RAT. On RAT services, is TCS applicable? No. Made during any month by all registered person through the operator, re uh, reduced by the aggregate value of taxable supply returned to the suppliers during the said month. Means if there is any return and all, on that TCS will not be collected. Guys. One more thing they are telling, this guy should be registered person. Sir, what if supplier is not registered? No TCS. No TCS. Okay, next. The amount collected shall be paid to the government by the operator within 10th of next month. Next. The supplier shall claim credit in his electronic cash ledger of the tax collected and reflected in the statement of operator furnished in form GSTR 8 within 10th of next month. Within 10th of next month. Okay. Next. Every operator who collects the amount shall furnish an annual statement also along with monthly annual also. In form GSTR 9B electronically containing the details of outward supplies of goods or services are both affected through it during the financial for all months put together on or before 31st December of next financial year. Note, one note I have given. What is it? Connected to registration. The person deducting the tax under section 51, deductor, and the par person collecting the tax and source, that is 52, operator, shall mandatorily get registered under GST as per section 24. And both of these guys has to apply for registration in not REG1. They have to apply for registration in REG7. REG7. 5 plus 2. 7. 5 plus 2. 7. REG7. Even TDS person also same only. Okay. Yes, guys. So, this is all about TDS and TCS.